Now, one of the three attackers involved in the London attacks has been identified as being a one of Pakistani origin. The police have released the names of two of the three men who carried out this attack in the heart of London over the weekend. But one of them uh, was already known for his extremist views uh, amongst his neighbours and in fact had been reported to the authorities several years ago. He'd also appeared in a 2016 British television documentary called The Jihadis Next Door. He's white and he's English, he can go, but all of us that were just praying, we have to stay. Hiding in plain sight, on the street, captured on camera. This is Karim Butt, one of the men police say carried out the attack on Saturday night, which left seven people dead and almost 50 injured. So we were praying to the, there was speaker, there was like, that's all you were doing. Defiant, playing to the cameras perhaps, claiming police harassment for simply praying. But later in the Channel 4 documentary in London's Regent's Park, he helps as his group unfurl the black flag, which has now become synonymous with Islamist terrorists, ISIS. Tonight, more than a year after this footage was broadcast, Karam Shazad Butt from Barking was officially named by the Met Police as one of the terrorists. The second, named as Rashid Redawan, also from Barking, and a third is yet to be identified. So, a key question tonight, what was known about the attackers, particularly Butt, his image and views made so public? People who know him say he was a man who didn't hide his extremism. And this is where it all ended. The scene at London Bridge moments after the three attackers drove a hired van directly into the crowds of people enjoying a night out. They then jumped from the van and began randomly stabbing passers-by with foot-long knives in nearby borough. Watch closely here as people run for cover in Arthur Hooper's, a restaurant in Stony Street. As the manager tries desperately to bring down the shutters, one of the attackers tries to prise them open to reach the people sheltering inside. The manager only just closes the door in time. Within eight minutes of police being called, the attackers lay dead themselves. They pretend suicide belts around their waists shot dead by armed officers who fired an unprecedented 50 rounds. Well, it has now emerged uh, that Pakistan has a link even to this particular terror attack that was carried out in the heart of London over the weekend and reactions to that have been coming in. Let's listen in. In the case of India and Pakistan, it is well known uh, that that kind of activity is not happening when the cross-border things are happening. But between MI5 and our uh, intelligence agencies, there should be a better coordination, there could, should be a better exchange of information so that neither of us end up being the victims. Here, what is the Pak connection is going to be very difficult to prove. And Pakistan has kept itself, the government, the ISIS, kept itself relatively, you know, I will say, insulated from being pointed a finger towards them. Yes, the basics is this man is uh, a Pakistan by birth and he grew up in UK and he's uh, done this uh, heinous attack. Uh, we may not be able to pinpoint it to Pakistan. Pakistan is the one that foments terrorism all across the globe. It's not only India. And a definite link has been found. So the whole world should arise, awake and unite to fight terrorism and the fight must begin by making Pakistan, by forcing Pakistan reign in terrorism. There is no way out. This is not surprising for me. You will find Pakistani jihadi everywhere, all over the world and Pakistan has become the factory of the jihadis, now the UN, US. European Union, they must take serious note of it. One of the three attackers involved in the London blast has been identified as a Pakistani-born person. The authorities have released names of two out of three attackers involved 
in the blasts in London which took place last week, out of which one person had earlier too been reported to the authorities and was known in his neighborhood for his extremist views. Also, he had featured in a documentary on British television named Jihadis Next Door. In Delhi with video journalist Pawan, this is Abhimanyu Sharma for News X.